Hello and welcome back to another video. So here I have the Liberty Engine that I made a while ago, but have now uh, updated it with the Working Eccentric and a lot more details. So this is the engine in its current uh, form. Uh, it's mainly complete. I might add some more detail to it, but I'm not sure about that. So in this video I'll show you how to operate it and also how to hook it up into your ships. So uh, up here, you can uh, move the throttle lever to the throttle that you want. Realistically, you want the throttle to be 0.51 with a bit ratio of 1 and 2. And that will give you the required RPM of the real engine. As you can see, the eccentrics actually do something instead of just being static like they were on my last one. Some other big improvements were that I had it facing the wrong way, so it would have been like actually going that way for the shaft instead of that way, which was what it looked like. Uh, I have markers all over where the pipes are. This is your bearing drip pipe outlet. There's a new one at the other side. It basically just drips water onto the bearing so they don't overheat and overheat warp. This is your air compressor and also a water pump just a vent here and then your piping would actually just go out here to these pipe connections here this is your main condenser it takes your exhaust and puts it or turns it back into water and it will the water will be pumped in through here go around and then go out there um, up there is the water drainage cylinders so if there's any leftover water in there that you want to get out you would open up that valve and that just goes into the condenser so you don't really need to pipe that up here is another vent so you don't want to pipe that up there is a relief valve so that would go to the atmosphere or outside of the ship up here is your auxiliary intake for all the steam so if you did have any other steam engines running you would want the exhaust to go into this pipe here uh, down here you again have the bearing drip coolant inlet uh, this is like a little oil thing I think I don't know it just had like a bunch of glass vials with oil dripping into them not really sure how that works but There'd also be a bunch of pumps here, but I couldn't really get a lot of good pictures for them, so I couldn't really make it. Over here is your throttle valve, and that goes up to the main valve there. Each one of these pipes would go to your boilers, so that's boiler 1 and boiler 2. And then your pipes for uh, valve fat are right there. Over here you have all your dials, you have the low pressure uh, cylinder. You have the intermediate pressure cylinder, and you have the high power or high pressure cylinder right there. Up there is just a bunch of or a set of valves for the uh, instruments to tell you how much steam is going into the cylinders. Right here is the flywheel for the reversing engine, and all the steam pipes go down there. This just feeds into the condenser. But you want to put your steam pipe right there. Over here is the jacking engine. So when you're starting the engine, we'll, you want it into a certain position so we can actually start the engine. And that should be it for all the features here. If I go up here, you'll see these little red pipes here, or red and black. Do not pipe these. Or these are just pressure release valves, so don't pipe anything into them. Alright, so in the editor, I'll show you how to actually hook this up. Alright, so step one to actually putting this in your ship. What you want to do is you want to get your copy and pasting stuff. And just copy this thing from the creation file. Then you want to merge it to whatever your ship is in, I guess. Then, you 
want to hook it up to electricity. If I pull up this menu, you want to put uh, electricity on this pivot only. And also this pivot here, because that controls your throttle uh, valve. Just so it's a little decoration so that when you increase the throttle, it will actually move. Uh, what I have here is just a simple switch box with your throttle going into it and a negative value of the throttle. So you can actually reverse it just by pressing that button. If you want to make it more advanced, you could also make it so you can only reverse it if the engine is at a certain uh, angle, or at least the crankshaft is. But you don't have to do that. Over here is your RPM meter. This is, we'll just show if it's going a stern or to the head. It's basically just a multiplier of the angular speed sensor I have right here. So you'd pipe all that up, or hook it up, I mean. And that should be it. So you just gotta do all the piping, and the logic's pretty simple. If you want to make it complex, you can also do that. Uh, another thing, your cat box, want to go on this layer here, just one block away from the sign. And then for the second one, it's about at that level. Just so you get to have walkways in between the pistons like the real thing did. But because I did it with a more moving uh, centric, you can't really get walkway in there. You could get rid of this, but you kind of need that. And you can't do it here since you have all the moving parts in there. But I would just leave it out unless you can put it like here. But you can't really do that because you have the compressor arm there. But uh, that will be it for this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any uh, suggestions or anything I can do to improve this, please tell me, and I'll see you later.